Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make a light switch or a simple button. First you're going to create 3D game object cube. Scale this down. This is going to represent our button. This is our main object that our scripts, our one script and our components will be attached to. So I'm going to make a background just for cosmetic reasons. Now it looks more like a button. Go to our main object, I'm going to call this button, drag that here. I'm going to edit the box collider, I'm going to extend this out. This is our zone that our player needs to be in in order to activate the button. Click is trigger. Alright, so now we need to create our script. Right click, create C sharp script. I already made the script, so I'm going to go over it. I named it light on off. I'm going to also provide it in the comments below. Public game object. This is our text that we're going to display on our screen. It's going to say use or whatever. This is going to check if the player is in our trigger. This is our light or any object that we're going to activate. When the scene starts, it's going to check if our player is in the zone. Every update, it's going to check if the player is in the zone pressing F. And if it does, it's going to activate our light. It's going to activate our audio source. It's going to activate the animation in our animator controller. On trigger enter, when the player is in the zone, only the player. It's going to display the text, check if the player is in the zone, exit, it's going to remove the text, it's going to check if the player is in the zone, simple script. So now, so now we got to go to our button, we got to drag that script in. We're going to add an audio source. This will be like a click or just a button noise. Check play on awake. We don't need that. Drag an mp3 file or whatever. Alright. So now we're going to create a canvas. It could be any canvas, doesn't matter. Right click UI canvas right click on the canvas UI text this will be our text that will be shown I'm gonna write use I'm gonna make it white so we can see it better maybe now we're gonna deactivate the text go to our button we're going to drag that text into our text to display. So now we need to create our object that we're going to activate. I'm going to use a spotlight. Put it right behind the button. Alright, so we're going to deactivate this object. And then we're going to go to our button object and we're going to drag that in our light or OBJ. Alright, so now we'll go to our button. We're going to go to our animation tab. Create. I'm going to call it button. I'm going to click record. Go to our one second mark. I'm going to push the button inward. Go to our first key, Control C to copy. Go to our second mark, Control V. So now we'll play a nice smooth animation. Looks like a button's being pushed. Stop recording. Now when we did that, it should have automatically made an animator component. So we're going to go down here, go to our controller, 
I'm going to delete this. I'm going to call it idle. No motion, nothing. Right click, create new state. So in our script, we call this switch. So we have to name this switch. Right click, transition to idle. That animation clip we just made, I called it button. So I'm going to put this here. So now everything should be working how it should. So we're going to go test it. All right, so I go near the button. It displays our text when I exit. It doesn't show it. So if I should press F, it's going to display our light. And it plays our animation and our sound effect. I'm going to show you guys a few examples in my game next. So this is my game that I'm working on. It's a horror game set in the Antarctic. I'm just going to show you guys a few examples of what this script can do. Got a basic light switch here. Maybe you want to turn on a radio. All it is is activating and deactivating a game object. So you could have an empty game object with an audio source. And you could drag that right into this script. Got more light switches. It also doesn't have to be just one light. It could be multiple. All you have to do is group it up together in one single prefab. And you could turn on multiple lights. These lights are off. You got a light switch over here. I turned on all lights with one switch. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If it did, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And take care.